Hello, my name is John Pratchett from Kit Plus, and uh, we've been kindly sent two items to review from PTZ Optics. Uh, in this video, we're going to be looking at the brand new PTZ Optics Super Joy. Uh, we've also got another one where we're looking at this baby, the uh, PTZ Optics 12x MDI PTZ camera. So don't forget to check that out as well. So let's have a look at what we get with the Super Joy one comes in a box like this. Let's open it up and have a look. So we have power supply, which comes with all the different connectors depending on what country you're in. We're in the UK, so there's the UK one. So that's all in there. An RS-232 control cable. So if you were having your uh, camera directly plugged into this, you could control it via that. Let's take this cardboard out here. Packaging, and here it is. This is the new PTZ Optics Superjoy PTZ controller. So let's go and have a look at how we set this up and uh, getting it controlling the cameras. So as you can see here, what we have is a PTZ Optics uh, 12X NDI camera. Um, I've already done a video showing you how to connect this up to vMix. Uh, so have a look at that. Um, this is powered via a single um, Cat5 cable with PoE. So we've got no extra cables running to that. It's on the network and configured. And I've got a laptop here that uh, we're gonna use to help us control and configure our Superjoy, hopefully. So let's plug it in and see how well it works. Well, uh, we've got an HDMI cable, so I'm gonna plug that into here, which just so happens to be connected to this big television. And uh, so we should be able to see something through that. And it is also a PoE device, so you, you do have a power supply with it, but we don't need to because I'm running a PoE switch. Again, I can just plug this network cable in. And very shortly, it should, there we go, it should start paying up. So currently saying initializing. We'll let that boot up. There we go, it's getting an IP address. It's already got an IP address automatically by default. Uh, and I can see that it's on the same network as the rest of the kit that I've got here. So what we want to do is we want to add a camera to this. So first thing we need to do is go, the, there's a number of ways you can do it. You can do it from the panel itself. I find the easiest way to do that do it is just from the web interface so it has a really intuitive easy to use web interface and all we need to do is go to the IP address of the unit which we know because it says it on the screen here is let's click on here is 10.0.0.201 hit enter and as you can see the web interface comes up ask for username and password we are currently at the default which is admin with no password please change that for yours so we can go in and here we go we're straight into an area where we can see seven channels uh, that we can add at the moment in group one and obviously we have multiple groups that we can configure uh, of cameras so seven times four I do believe is 28 cameras by the looks of it um, so we've got one camera so we're just going to add that and as you can see channel one it has an IP address in here now we need to know the IP address of our camera and in a lot of instances you've just plugged this into a network and it's got its IP address automatically. So an easy way to find that, we're working with NDI cameras, so make sure you've got NDI tools installed on your laptop and we can just run Studio Monitor. Really simple way of finding out, it's gonna find a camera, there it is, it's the only one there, so it's jumped straight on, PTZ Optics Channel 1. So you choose the camera that you wanna find and if you click this little cog in the bottom right hand corner, it immediately brings you up the IP address of the camera and jumps to its own web interface. So obviously every PTZ camera, PTZ Optics camera has a web interface as well. But for us, we're interested in this number here, which is 10.0.0.96. So now we know the IP address of the camera. So let's add that in. Back to our SuperJoy interface. We're gonna click on modify and change this IP address to 10.0.0.96. Now everything else, Let's do 96, not 86. 96, there we go. Everything else is uh, correct for a PTZ Optics camera. It's already filled in with all the right information. If you are working with a different brand of camera, you may need to put the information in relevant to that camera. We click save. It says success. 
and you can see channel one is now our PTZ Optics camera. So that should mean that on this device here, we can press our camera one button. And I can see now on the screen that it says that I'm talking to a camera and in 96 on the IP address. So I know I've got the right camera. The other good thing about this is as you can see on the screen, it just says PTZ Optics and that's being sent from this unit. So there's a button here that says HDMI output. If I press that, you will see that the camera is now displayed. So obviously if we had more cameras on this, every time I select the camera, it will automatically display that camera on the screen. Now this is a very quick overview of the unit, but let's quickly have a look at some of the options we've got. So we selected camera and now we should have, as you can see, full joystick control of pan and tilt. Obviously the tilt you can adjust up and down, whether you like it inverted or not. We can zoom in and out. Uh, we have, at the moment, this camera is set to fully automatic, but we can, we can change focus. There we go. Manual focus control over it. And we have zoom control here. And the other good thing is that we actually have control over our uh, RGB. So we can, we can literally grade this camera on this unit. Control our speeds, our tilt speeds, our pan speeds, our zoom speeds, our focus speeds. Uh, we've got shutter control over here. If we have this set to manual, we'll be able to manually control the shutter. Um, if you want to look at the on-screen of the camera, we can press this button. And now we have on-screen control of the camera here. And we can switch that off, just there. Uh, and we can set up our custom uh, positions, our custom controls for all our different cameras as well. So if we know we like a particular color, look, white balance of the camera, we can set that all up on one of these custom controls so we can go straight into it and not have to keep resetting everything every time we unplug and plug in. Um, and that's it, that's the basic control of this unit. It's that simple to get you up and running controlling a PTZ Optics camera. Uh, and again, with the NDI, what we have here is remote control of a camera. It could be going into vMix, we could be live streaming uh, as quickly as that. Um, as I say, this can do an awful lot via the control surface if you want to find out more information then obviously the, there are videos and look at the manual it's uh, quite comprehensive what we can do but in the meantime that's us set up and working with the ptz optics super joy and a ptz optics camera